Hi guys. Um, so this is a um, like collective haul of what I've picked up in the last two weeks, maybe. Um, this is in no particular order. First, well, it's no no particular. I'm just grabbing as I'm going. Um, I picked up the Smashbox Cover Shot Smoky Eye Palette. Um. I think it was like $29 at Ulta. It might have been less than $29 or was $29. I don't know. But it was at Ulta. Um, I think it's really cute. It's like perfect to have like for your travel, like your little travel bag or whatever. It's really, really cute. And I love like the green, the green and the, the this burgundy reddish brick color it's like super super cute to me and the sparkly black was lovely i figured like you can't go wrong with it you can make a smoky eye something substitute with the two um like nudish color ones down here beige or whatever i thought that was really really cute and versatile and super small and compact and i like the little cover you know, like and the fact that it was really small and it can go in my little bag and go to my purse and go um then but we'll do Ulta pickups first. So, um, this is the NYX lingerie. Lingerie. Um, lingerie. This is the liquid lipstick that they have. Um, line. And they just, you know, they just introduced 16, 17 more shades or whatever. And this was part of the second set that they introduced. And this is 17 Seduction. It's super cute. I'll swatch it. Don't mind my funny looking hands. I actually really, really like it. Um, I wore it already. It's this like orange red brick. I feel, I feel like everything is like a nudish orange color for me. Um, yeah, that's the super, super cute. So that and it's drugstore affordable. Um, pigment is freaking lovely. It lasted, it actually lasted a long time yeah so there's that and i think it was like 6.99 then i got the coveted Too faced sweet peach palette and yes it does smell like peaches you can smell it even in a store when there's like 15,000 other smells going on so this one i have not used at all haven't even swatched it this is the package it comes in um yeah like i said it smells like peaches and you guys i just dropped this like i just dropped it i've been dropping stuff all night tonight and i don't know what's wrong um but i like this one because it's like all the little small spaces compact spaces with shadows um one of their palettes they have like one long color right here i just didn't like that's the only thing i didn't like um but yeah it smells like peaches it smells really good I don't know, some people say you taste it and it smells like peaches. I'm not going that far. But yes, it does smell like peaches. Um, and I love the shades. Like the versatility of the shades and all that you can do with it. Because you can do um, a little nude, smoky eye, something for school, work, home, night out. Like you can make it, you can make it work for you. And I really, really like this. I especially want to try these two pinky colors right here. Um, and try to do something with those. I think those are super, super cute. Um, next, I picked up Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick. Now, I know I said that um, Anastasia Beverly Hills, like, their formula, I don't think they've changed it thus far. Their formula is drying. Um, if you don't hydrate your lips before you put this on, like leave something under your lips are going to get really really dry and they're going to like get feathery and such so i don't like that but their pigment and color payoff is freaking wonderful um and this is the liquid lipstick in this color potion this is purple this dark purple and i love their packaging besides their drying like the packaging you have to know how to make Anastasia work for you it really is a liquid lipstick it does have um long lasting like effects like it lasts for a while but it's also really drying so just make sure you hydrate if you do get it um it's this purplish blue color here 
and it's really deep. Next, also from Ulta, um, I picked up the Tardiest Pro Tart Palette. I think that's just it's just Tardiest Pro, and I have been dying to get this. I actually did use it once, um, but yeah, for the first time ever. It really is a lovely, lovely palette. I love the packaging. Um, the packaging, it's matte black here on the front with gold lettering. And then on the back, it's this gold plated type thing. Then you have this, I don't know. I hope nothing cracked. No, nothing better had cracked. Um, so you get this huge mirror here. I don't know line you guys this huge mirror here is like the whole thing and then you get four, eight, 12, 16, 16 matte shades and four shimmery metallic shades um and I was really surprised that I actually like this palette because I do not really care for all matte palettes um so yeah all of these are matte and then these corners right here are shimmer yeah these corners right here no these corners right here are shimmer on this side are shimmer all of these over here are matte um i really do like the colors i feel like every palette has like the first couple are like super super light um at least for me but like everything else the color payoff was freaking wonderful um they blended well there's a a little variety of colors i feel like but they're all on like the um red red tone side a great portion of them and there's a lot of browns you know neutral, neutral things that you can work with and you can make a all matte look work or you can spice it up with a little bit of um, metallic over here um there's two nude colored flesh tone color metallic shades one green like a greenish blue right here which i freaking love this is what really made me want to buy this palette these two colors right here um but the fact that i feel like i could just travel with this by itself and do so many eye looks with it and be okay um yeah so got that i want to say this was like 49 or 53 or something like that i don't know yeah. then sephora picked up this kat von d um lock it concealer it really does like lock it um great great coverage and blendable and i like it and it was $26. I picked it up in like a shade that matches my skin tone so that when I like do my brows and just my brows by themselves without a full face of makeup I'll be okay because I just feel like eyebrows without highlight is just not brows for some reason. Okay so next is the stuff that I picked up while I was in Chicago um, and you should see you will see the um my unboxing of my bag that i bought all there too um before this video so yeah okay first i'll start with this one since it's already out i have used it before this is inglot um i did not know that they had inglot there i was really really surprised as we were walking out the door at macy's and like water tower or something like that that's the name of the building that they had inglot there um and Macy's here where I live does not have Inglot and I just never got around to ordering them online but yeah this is the eyeliner gel in the shade 94 um I have used this already as well yeah so it's like this really pretty champagne champagne um sparkly type eyeliner and it was really cute the way I paired it I loved it um, the way I paired it with whatever look I created the other day. I don't even remember what it was. Then I have, oh, I'm like, what is this? I have, um, this is Inglot Pure Pigment Eyeshadow in the shade 24. These does not have words, they're just numbers. Um, and this is Pure Pigment, so it's just shimmer. So I'm not going to turn it up. So you can see it, I just dip my finger in the thing here and show you guys yeah it's pure pigment it's so freaking pretty though yeah it's 
it's like this sparkly orange red brick again i don't know why i'm so obsessed with like red brick type colors or shades or something i don't think you know but yeah um and you can also um wet your brush or like your surface and then pack it on and it kind of give it this gives it this different effect um So I also picked up three shadows and they're low-key like on the same. I dropped one of these. I'm not sure which one and I'm scared that it might have broke. Um, again, flesh tone champagne colors. Um, nudies. This is the shade, the Freedom System shade 606 eyeshadow. Single. This is those type color. Then there is the shade 605, and this is again like red brick shade, super, super pretty. This is the shade 607. I literally was like, oh, all three of these are cute, and then, oh, and this is a red clay type. Um, they're all like metallic shimmer type shadows so there's those now on to what i picked up um from sephora here okay so this is from makeup forever artist shadow single it's a single that comes in a little box and the shade i922 uh, it comes in this little container it looks so much deeper and bluer just deeper and on camera is really not that deep um uh oh and it's opening but yeah it's this like muted um poppy color it's just it's like a muted shimmer color if that makes any type of sense maybe maybe it does maybe it doesn't but then I also bought I918. I had a look in mind when I bought these, but maybe not. And this is just a lighter shade, which it looks deeper on camera, but it's really not. It's really light. And then this is the oh, palette duo that it comes with. Um, I was told that it's in, um, I bought these while we were in Canada, so I actually recently just came back from Canada anyway. These, this is the little duo that it comes with, so if you buy one single, you get the, a single palette. If you buy two, you get this, the duo, and if you buy, is it four or three? I think it's four, you get the little four holder. Um, yeah, but this is the two thing, and you just put the two individual shadows in here and they say it's included in the price so basically I kept the price and included it and then this is makeup forever out of shadow in the shade i736 here I don't even remember which store I got this from probably in kind of those two and this is again a freaking red brick color so I think maybe I shouldn't keep one of these. That's too many red brick colors. So yeah, then there's this one. Yeah. And that is it for you guys. Um, yeah. That is it. Um, that is all that I've bought in the last week two i think i hope that's all i can remember like that i bought like recently okay we'll say within the last week that was actually the last week um within the last week and i'm in love with the pickups but anyway yes that is all i bought within the last week um uh collective makeup haul i hope you guys enjoyed it um please give it a thumbs up and if you would like, you can subscribe. If not, that's okay too. I'll see you guys in my next video.